Canon Controls is your gateway to mastering LabVIEW. Dive into programming for data acquisition, industrial communications, and manufacturing automation. Explore how to enhance your projects with cybersecurity best practices. Join the journey to elevate your skills and secure your systems with every episode. Hey everybody, so today I just wanted to share a, uh, another open source tool with you guys um, for working with JSON in LabVIEW. Um, actually, it doesn't have to be LabVIEW, um, so this can be, this is a fully built application. You can just use it as is um, for uh, kind of, I mean, the goal is to break JSON into a tree, um, let you navigate it um, and explore it as such. Um, kind of just uh, some of the uh, features here. Um, so you have this JSON string field on the left. You can go and you can just type in JSON. You can paste it in. You can type it in, etc. Over here on the right, when you do that, it's going to generate a tree of your JSON um, that you can expand um, and whatnot and you know, view the objects that are nested in other objects and what they're you know what those objects contain um, it also has this uh, you know load from file so if you have like a um, JSON file um, you can just click that and it'll you know read so I can see here on the left I have my uh, um, my JSON payload um, but also here it's broken up into a tree so I can kinda go from root you know I can expand the absolute time object, um, you know, file name, etc. Um, and it's a good way to just see, hey, what, um, how are things broken up? Um, and it also does highlight, so like for instance, this is a JSON array and a JSON object. So I know JSON object in LabVIEW is a cluster. I know JSON array is an array. So um, kind of helps identify what things are and then what each one is built of. So I can see, hey, this tag list is a JSON array. So it's an array of JSON objects. So it's an array of clusters. And in that cluster, I have a format string, a header text, and a tag name. So um, makes it easy to uh, kind of interpret JSON that way. Um, there is also this little uh, help menu that just gives you kind of information on how to work the software. Um, one other thing that's built into here um, is you can issue HTTP requests from it. So if I click this, I can select the method I want to use. Um, so um, just these four are built into it, but let's say I click Git. Um, I can now specify a URL. Um, so let's go catfact.ninja slash fact. Okay. I can specify the timeout for that request. And then I can also type in headers and values that I want to add to that if wherever I'm making this request to requires headers. When I'm done, just click Git. And I get my JSON payload here, the response of JSON, obviously. So I have a fact, female cats are polyesterous, length 28 characters. Um, but here it breaks down my object for me so I can see that as well. So, And this is a really simple JSON payload. You can load way more complex ones in here, um, and it automatically catches that response, loads it here, breaks it into the tree for you. So um, good way to just start testing JSON if you're integrating with the REST API um, and, you know, want to just see what, you know, you get this, sometimes you get like a really, really big payload and you don't even know where to start in trying to convert that back to like LabVIEW data types and whatnot. So this is a tool to just take that payload, break it into a tree, and you can go piece by piece and just map it to LabVIEW data types or just the functions you need, right? If you know, hey, nested, you know, a couple layers down, there's this one object I want. Well, now I can find where that's found. So it makes it just a little easier to view that. Um, and as I mentioned, this is all written in LabVIEW and it's all open source. So you can either just take this application, you know, build, it, it works perfectly in the runtime engine. So you can just build an EXE out of this and use it as a standalone application, which is how I use it. Um, you also can take this and modify it to accommodate your own needs. Um, yeah, the, uh, if you're interested, the link to the repository is in the description to the video. Um, so um, feel free to take it, use it as you want. Um, if you think you've got a good improvement for it, feel free to make a pull request. I'm happy to collaborate on this with anyone else. Um, but yeah, thank you guys for tuning in.